otherwise known as the Queen of Bear Crease. And I attained my position as Queen of Bear Crease uh, from wresting the power from the previous despot in a military coup. Completely bloodless, but not totally without discomfort. He's a very nice person, you know, he, uh, he looks out for others. And there's a couple of times actually where I've been down and he's come and put his hand on my knee and just reassured me that things are better. I'm pretty sure he's gay. But, uh, keep it quiet. No shit, Poirot. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, like, when I have a tear there, he'll wipe it off and kiss where the tear was. And he's never come on to me, so he can't be gay, surely. Hello. I'm Richard Key, also known as the Earl of Sutton Hill. Fat bastard. I'm the stylish and sophisticated one of the group. Richard Key is very nice and everything, but there is certain concern about him since if he gets any larger, he will form a black hole. While I'm not doing bear crease, I like to think that I live something of the high life. I enjoy fine wine, fine dining, and of course, I'm mean, rather a hit with the ladies, if you know what I mean, bro! <laughs> Contrast. I'm also rather famed for my, um, neuroses issues. Twitch, twitch. <laughs> yes, um, it gets lonely. Being me. I'm Stuart, a.k.a. Half Pint, as I am well known. Ah, uh, Stuart, the ginger of the group. Um, well, my life really, um, I was born. They did actually think a vagina was on fire. Father discovered I was ginger, tried to force me in the other direction until I changed my hair colour. Stu's dad went, no, don't be silly, he's probably ginger. <laughs> then Stu's dad saw that he was ginger and left. Forever. <laughs> and then I hit secondary school. And it took a turn for the worst. I was strapped to lampposts. I had things thrown at me. I was pushed around. Um, stripped of my attire and left in the corridor in a fetal position, just crying. And there was this one time that we um, we shaved off all his hair, like all over his body, and we left him like naked on the street and just crying like a baby. And it was fucking hilarious. But I, I came to terms with my gingerness and came out as a ginger. It's very unfortunate, but thankfully with the development of stem cell research, his particular genetic disease will soon be cured. I'm Steve. Rent boy. He actually is officially a rent boy. Honestly, I saw him on a street corner and um, he climbed into a Mini Cooper. Um, silver and black it was. Oh, Richard, you've caught me at such an improbable time. Get him for work, you know. Like, uh, he got out half an hour later without his top on and pulling his trousers up. Made some big money tonight, I think. Saturday night and all that. Stephen Woolett, bless his soul. And yes, I will stick up to the boy. Yes, you may say he looks like a top man wet dream. Yes, you may say he looks like a lesbian. And no, I don't care if he looks like Janice Battersby off Coronation Street. He's my friend, god damn it! So, uh, I get called Rent Boy because I'm the one in MTA with all the fashion sense and they just can't see me on that, so they just say I dress like a rent boy. And he gives great head. He used to look like Doc Wong. Still looks like Doc Wong. We'll always look like Gokwan. When I put the specs on, I look a bit like Mr. Gokwan, so they call me Gok. And he thinks we call him Gokwan because of his glasses. It's, it's actually because Gokwan is the only person more annoying than him. One day I'm gonna take Steve away, far, far away, and maybe we could just make little Gokwan the children. <laughs> I like his glasses. Hi, I'm Bobby, um, Bear Crease's web design manager. Bobby, oh, the love of my life, but I mean, come on, he's too intelligent for his own good. This once I went to a nunnery and got all the nuns out. Everyone says I should up to Bobby Stanley and I wish him Bobby. Did, did them all. Then I got some petrol. He lives down the road from me. It has its pros, it has its cons. We put the petrol around him. Um, and then set fire to the guns. He's a lightweight, I must add this at this point, he's a lightweight. His girlfriend can out drink him and that's embarrassing. Then the monks came, 
I did the same. But without me, it wouldn't really be the boy he is today. <laughs> then the police came, I did the same. I take credit for Bobby Stanley existing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Bobby Stanley is what would happen if you took a crane and gave it an education. Greetings. I am Ollie Lawrence, or otherwise known as Ollie Potter. Ollie Potter? Ollie Potter, otherwise known as Ollie Lawrence, has known me for quite a while, and it must be said that I think he may actually be the person to determine whether or not we are really losing the ozone layer. I am probably the oldest member of Bear Crease. Um, yes, I'd say that's accurate. And he's very nice and everything, but to be perfectly fair, I feel quite sorry for Frankie having to sit on his Nimbus 2000. Um, and, well, what can I say about myself? I don't know really about Ollie, because he, he's quiet, but he is the chosen one. Now you see, I actually live really close to Ollie, um, just down the road. In fact, sometimes like there's a little gap in my window, there's a little gap in here, and I can see him getting changed. And um, especially when he takes his... It's just, I say, well, it's fucking fantastic. Especially when he gets out of the shower, you know, when you've got that like, mist of steam, the window's steamed up, he goes to wipe it and with his penis, it's great. I actually love it. I actually love it. Um, what can I say? I mean, who else is going to take down Voldemort? Dex, Dex, Edgerton! Dex, Edgerton! Where is Dex? Where is Dex? The one of you can... He's trying to steal my... He's trying to steal my place as the ginger. Dex, Edgerton is kind of the secondary ginger, kind of like the smaller kidney that you don't really like, but you need. <laughs> Come on, I've been around like a whole year and a half longer than that bitch. But what's he doing? He's, he's just never here. It's it's a problem, but no, I actually know Deck for a long time. In fact, I've showered with him after cross country once. Bit of a gangster, like woo, ding, chick, yeah. constable. But yeah, lovely lad. Also ginger, which is uh, a, a shame. I know where Deck is. Many people don't, but I do. How's it work? How's it going? And he's not at work. That boy doesn't work. That's an excuse. It, it's it's a good thing to have Deck. He's, he's a very good chap, you know. Cares about his friends a lot, and when he's here, it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> no, no, I. So hi, I am Anthony Mason, aka Baldy Boy. Oh no, you were the failure, brack brack ting ting, Anthony Mason. Yeah, he's a constable. Basically, I'm here to, to give you all a bit of bear crease, you know, to provide a bit of entertainment. Cunt. That is all he is. I am known to uh, try and shake things up a bit. Maybe uh, on some other things, I might. Be given an idea, then take it that little step too far. He abuses women. Yeah, that's what I do a lot. He is just a bad, bad human being. If he is not in prison by this time next year, then I just don't know what is wrong with the world. I've often been told the line is a dot to me, and I pole vault right over it. But he's a funny person to take the piss out of, so we keep him around. He doesn't. He doesn't like anything that's not manly, you know? He's a full-on man. I've never seen anything that's not manly with him. He's the sort of guy you'd never catch dancing around a skirt or uh, sparkles or anything like that. He just wouldn't see it. So I plan to do that a lot during Bear Crease. He's a good mate of mine, isn't he? Very good mate of mine. Yeah, he's a good lad, good lad.